this is Wolfboy, and guys, I am so excited because Minecraft PE 16.0 finally came out for iOS. As you may or may not have known, the MCP 16.0 update was delayed for iOS users for reasons that I forget, but they are valid, and I am so excited that it finally came just a couple of hours ago. I'm trying to get this video out as soon as possible. You've probably watched other YouTubers play Minecraft PE 16.0 update on Android and you probably know all this stuff, but I'm making this video because I just like making videos I don't really care if you watch it or like it or whatever I just really like making these videos for you guys So let's get straight into the video and let's have a look at the settings the new layout for these settings So there seems to be everything here. So they've got a couple new buttons um, Just like manage account and everything, but um, they've got all the same buttons, but there's a completely different layout I mean look at this um, to change your camera perspective, you have to go into uh, video and then into uh, first person. So um, you can ha have a look at the camera perspective. So there's third person, first person, all, all of that. It's pretty much the same, just completely different layer. It's probably a little bit harder to navigate through, but I mean, everything's quite fine. Um, so there's advanced video settings and all that. Um, and then there's here, which is the uh, global resources packs. So these are like uh, texture packs and... Uh, you know, like add-ons and stuff. Um, so let's get out of here. There's also the store, which we can have a look at all the texture packs, resource packs, that sort of stuff. Um, we can also have a look at our skin, which we can turn around, we can see it like in real life and have a look at all the skins that we already do have. Um, so I have got a world that I will be reviewing, but let's just have a look how you create a world. So you press create world, you can name the world whatever you want. Um, it's pretty much the same layout when you click on something, so there's always this like different um, choices in the boxes. Uh, it's sort of like a multiple choice type thing. Um, now, also, if you do turn on creative, it will say that Xbox Live achievements are only available for worlds that are set in survival and without cheats. So, this is cheats here. This is what cheats are. So, cheats are basically, um, it allows you to have add-ons, it allows you to have hacks, basically. So, you do have commands within the game, which is absolutely awesome, and I will be reviewing those. Uh, you can do the seed, which is right here. I won't be really doing a seed. And change the world type, of course. Um, and what's really awesome is you can add add-ons and um, texture packs. So, uh, behavior packs are actually add-ons, and the resource packs are texture packs. So, you can add a texture pack or an add-on to a specific world. So, for example, I could have the city texture pack on this world and the natural texture pack on my, like, some other world, which is absolutely awesome. So you can assign different add-ons for different worlds. So let's get into a world and let's have a look at the new items within the game. So, guys, first of all, there are a couple new box. Okay, so there is, obviously, the Prismarine, the Prismarine Bricks, which is right here, the Dark Prismarine, and the Sea Land, which is basically like a glowstone. It does glow under like the water and everything, which is really cool. Um, and then, of course, we do have the Nether Star. Um, so you guys know what that means, don't you? We have the Wither, which I will be showcasing later on in this video. But first of all, we also have the Prismarine Shards and Prism cr bleh, Prismarine Crystals. Okay, we also have Beacons, okay, because of the Nether Star. I mean, just, just look at that. That's just absolutely amazing. And if you have Diamonds or Gold or Emeralds or Iron, you can just put that in and then you can get a, um, Superpower, basically, which is absolutely amazing. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys some of the new mobs, first of all. Now, some of the new mobs are, of course, the Guardian and the Elder Guardian, which is like a, basically an older one. And absolutely, look at that. That is absolutely amazing. Okay, and if I do get a squid out, okay, so let's grab a squid. Okay, they will actually attack the squid and ink will be flying everywhere. Okay, so I'll put one up here. That way you can see their little lasers from the eyes come out. Wait, 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 wait. You see there? You see there? See there? Wait for it. I want to see the... There's the lasers. That is an absolutely great laser. I love their laser from their eyes because it's like a really cool... Um, it changes colors and everything. And I reckon that's actually going to inspire some great builds. Like I'm thinking like a robot which shoots lasers out of its eyes. That's just me, but like there, there can be some really cool stuff that you can do. So uh, this is going to be such a great update. Okay, I think personally that this is the best update from Minecraft P. Like this is big, the biggest. Like it adds bosses into Minecraft P. Speaking of bosses, 
We of course have the Wither, the newest MCP boss. So how you spawn it is you put Soul Sand in an Iron Golem formation and add three Wither Skeleton heads on it. And as you can see, it's getting charged up, so I'm just going to watch it for a second, then I'm going to get out my Diamond Sword and start destroying it. Ready, and watch it, it's going to explode to the ground, okay, with a huge explosion. Okay, I'm just going to get out a Diamond Sword, okay. Um, also, a thing that is... Um, sort of in creative, in creative, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. So in creative, he won't actually fly away. He'll stay above the water or above the ground, just above it. Um, there's also some exclusives, which I will try and find if he can do them, okay, in this video. So some of the exclusives include that when he gets down to half a heart, he will have a force field around him and he will spawn three wither skeletons to help protect him, which is just amazing, okay, and he's just like walking through and he's sort of just fighting a couple, um, and Elder Guardians that, El Elder Guardians? Yeah, Elder Guardians that I just spawned in. Um, I'm trying to find his other, um, exclusive is that he will have a lunge attack, as you just saw there. He took out half that mountain and all the water, which is absolutely amazing. Amazing. I love that lunge attack. So he sort of goes vertical, as you can see, and thrusts forward, attacking any beast that is in its way. So I'm just going to go kill this with a boss, okay, and let's see what he drops. I just love that lunge attack. That's just absolutely amazing. And he seems to do it more when he's just about to die. Um, also, when he's about, about to die, he sort of like digs a hole if you're in creative because, you know, just to annoy you. But, you know, why not? Okay, and let's hurry up and kill him. So, as you can see, he will make a gigantic explosion when he does die. So, if you are killing him in survival, I suggest you get a fair amount away from him because that's a big explosion. Um, so I do have some sea lanterns here to like light up, okay, if it is dark. Um, and as you can see, we have our nether star, so let's go into our inventory. Inventory, there we go. Okay, and let's have a look at our nether star. So we have our nether star, which we can obviously then make, um, a... What is it? A beacon, that, that's it, okay? So then we can make one of these fabulous beacons. And also, we do also have in this update, um... Ocean Monuments, okay? That's where the Elder Guardian and the Normal Guardians do spawn. In the 16.0 update, there are also commands, which is absolutely amazing. So you go, slash, say, I'm going to do the give command. So you slash, not not gear, give, okay? Then you go, um, you can either write, wolf, you can either write your name, so my name would be wolfboy 77s or you go at, um, at P, so where's the at symbol? So you go at P, and then you can type anything. So I'm going to go, I don't know, wait, 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 okay, I'll go, um, I'll just do a blaze rod because it's just right there. Blaze, okay, and then we go underscore rod. There we go. Okay, so it gave me one blaze rod, and then you have to type how many you want after that. So I've got a blaze rod, which is absolutely amazing. Now, as of yet, in Minecraft P, there are no command blocks, but hopefully that will be coming soon in the next update, which is absolutely amazing. So guys, stay tuned for the next update, okay, and you may be able to see them. Now let's have a look at the settings of our game. So you can invite friends from here. Um, that if we go into settings, there's a new layout for the settings, of course. Okay, um, you can change a lot of um, your in-game settings from here. So like uh, a lot of them, more than uh, the last update. So you can change uh, the texture pack. I'm pretty sure. Can we? Can we change the texture pack? I I, I don't really have any of the texture packs right now, but I, I will I will get them. Um, as we can see, we can change the third person. Okay, so let's third person front and here we go so we'll go um resume game and as you can see there's me hello hello me awesome okay and so guys i really hope that you have enjoyed this awesome 16.0 update video finally out for ios and i'll see you guys in the next update bye